Okay, g'day from Melbourne, Australia. Um, so today is the 20th of October and so today I'm having, as I previously mentioned in the other video or the first video I, I did, uh, today I'm going in to see my hematologist, or not my hematologist, but a hematologist, who's going to go over the result of my blood tests, which I had early last week. So today is Thursday, as I said, the 20th of October. So last week on Tuesday, I think it was, I had um, blood tests that um, to get an idea of what's happening with my um, ability to clot, my blood's ability to clot. Because back in 1986, I had a procedure back then, and I happened to mention um, that, you know, that when I bleed, um, I don't tend to clot as quickly as most people do. And I had been encouraged by my mum to mention that to them. So I had some blood tests back then as well, but it wasn't really investigated in depth as this one this time around. Um, back then it was purely a matter of, um, they gave me like, I don't know, three or four or five units, which is like, I think a litre or something of coagulant. So, so um, to help my blood clot um, uh, in recovery of um, the surgery that I had. And, um, and that even didn't work. And that didn't quite work as well as we thought it was going to. So I did, did bleed quite heavily. Um, and anyway, so here we are in 2016 and I'm having a procedure now. So I thought I'd mention it to my surgeon. And so he encouraged me to have these blood tests. So today, like I said, I know I'm repeating myself. I'm going to see this hematologist. He's going to shed some light on all of this for me. So a little bit nervous. Um, in just over an hour, I'm going to walk into his office to discuss this. Okay, so I'm on my way now. Um, right foot on the accelerator, left foot on the brake. Not at the same time, of course. Um, and uh, just because... Um, because of the muscle wastage that I have already, it just affects my ability to react quickly somehow, like go to go from um, accelerator to brake. Um, so I've sort of coordinated my right foot and left foot, my right foot doing minimal, you know, very minimal work right now. And my left foot is just braking now. Um, so I'm not feeling uh, nervous or anything as I maybe was a little earlier on because I guess I need to focus on the road. Um, um, but um, tick tock, tick tock, just waiting to do my right hand turn. I'm sorry if that's, I apologize for the annoying tick tock. I'll just switch it off. Um, yes, okay. So a glorious day in Melbourne. Um, beautiful blue sky which you cannot probably see and let's proceed with the right hand turn now without an indicator but it's okay because no one was behind me it's okay um, and away we go once again so let's see we'll see how you know what light is shed okay so I'm um, arrived early for my appointment um, they're having some construction uh, in their car park at the hospital and so I've had to park at least two blocks away so it's a good thing I am early and I'm just making my way slowly. Hello, I'm just on my way back home over a speed hump. Um, oh, um, on my way back home, yes, from my hematology appointment which I've been waiting two weeks to attend um, with my blood tests smack in the middle of those two weeks but anyway so what happens is um, he checks the results which um, come through from the pathology labs and the one test that he really needs didn't come through because that particular test was sent to the wrong lab and that lab only processes that particular test 
one day a week and that one day a week is a Friday and so it was sent to them last Friday well it was sent last Friday but it was sent to the wrong lab which means it now has to be done tomorrow so today's Thursday and I won't get that result now until Monday or Tuesday of next week which is interesting because my operation is next Friday and that doesn't leave a lot of time um, so the hematologist or the doctor that I just saw has said to me that so far what he can see from what he can see from the results of the blood test that I have already everything seems okay um, it really is determined by this last result and basically it's about um, my platelets are okay but it's about what keeps my platelets um, anchored so they can actually clot or you know remain in that sort of position where he the healing process can can um, actually occur so he suspects that um, there is a missing link between when platelets align to clot like the brickwork of the clotting um, so what's missing is the the mortar to keep those platelets there together um, so he sort of made reference to bricks and mortar in building and that's where it is but um yeah so I'm on my way home now um, and um, so he did say that they may have to delay um, my surgery if he's not too confident with the results that he gets back next week from this test that he's supposed to already have that wasn't done because it was sent to the wrong lab oh my gosh I can't believe that that's actually happened um, anyway so yes um, yeah so wait um, fingers crossed and toes crossed and everything else that I could possibly cross are crossed that we get that result by Monday or Tuesday and that it's all good so that I can have this procedure on Friday because I really want to get through and over this part of the process so I can start the healing process and the rehab process and um, really get things underway okay so that's where we're at that's where we're at is there anything else that I wanted to say um, no probably not because I need to focus on the road here and that's it okay Thank you.